There's this challenge I do, right, where I renovate a house that EA has built using their restrictions. Now, what does that mean exactly? Because we know they have some sort of, like, generic, vague restrictions on how many objects can be placed in a lot, how much it can cost, blah blah blah. We don't really know what those exact restrictions are, but we do know that the houses that are in the game that they've built must follow those restrictions, right? And so I like to go in and take those houses and renovate them, but adhering to those same guidelines. As in, the house can be more expensive. If I want to add anything, I have to take something away first so it has the same number of objects in the house. And usually we just try and prove that, um, the house doesn't have to be as ugly as it is. <laughs> Oftentimes, I just end up making it a lot smaller because they build these, like, big houses with, like, three objects in them that look so empty and sad. And I think I get them making them big because they want to give you room to grow, but, like, when the house looks so empty and so sad, <laughs> it's just not pleasant. And today, I think we're gonna take on our hardest build yet. I'll link some of my past attempts down below. This one's in Brindleton Bay. Yet again, we are tackling a starter home, but this one is a beautiful house. Like, I love the outside. I think that's rare. Oftentimes, I, I dislike the outside of these builds. But the inside is so empty. Like, look at this living room. I don't know if I can get behind this choice. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. There are a few things that also bug me. For example, um, this roof is overhanging wrong. Like, they- I know what they tried to do. They tried to make it so that you could have an upstairs that was, like, inside of the roof, right? Uh, they just didn't do it right because <laughs> this wall is supposed to be there for it to fit under the roof. You see the overhang? You see how it's weird like that? It irks me. But we're gonna try and make the house smaller, basically, is our- is our goal, and also renovate it to the best of our abilities and make it a little bit brighter. <laughs> Um, a little bit more fully furnished, ideally. We'll see how it goes. Step one of this challenge is to give ourselves zero simoleons. We aren't gonna have any extra money to add to the build. This house already costs like 17k. It's, it's a fairly expensive starter, considering it's only one bedroom. <laughs> we also can't use move objects, just for the record. And like I said, if I want to add anything, I have to take something away first. So say I want to add like a TV, I have to first take away a different object. So I'd have to be like, oh well, you know, guess we're not gonna have this extra counter because it has to have the exact same number of objects that it has right now. Shall we be Again, I want to start making the house significantly smaller. <laughs> that is my step one. I might just like put these bathroom items out here because I want them again. I'm gonna use them, but I want to change the size of this bathroom because I think I'm gonna like genuinely make the house like two tiles smaller. So one, two. All right, we'll have to. Oh, household inventory for a light. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna have a lot of work to do. I think. <laughs> also, we have an extra one, two. Insufficient funds, what, to move the- Alright, to get some extra money, we can actually delete the invisible railing that's right there. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a railing underneath the stairs. And you can delete it just by holding down control and drawing the wall again. So we've deleted that railing. <laughs> it saves us some, um, some space and some stress, I think. I liked their giant porch. I just- I feel like because of how small this house is, I think we have to sort of, um, embrace that <laughs> and accept the fact that we've got a small house here and we, and we can't do a ton with the porch. I also got two extra columns that I can delete so I have more objects <laughs> because they had like columns on the sides but now I don't need them anymore so we'll save those for later when we want to decorate better. I think what I'm gonna do is we'll just redo this part of the roof. We'll make the whole house one tile smaller back there as well. Now we gotta fix the roof obviously. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise up these pieces. So it's gonna look a little bit rounded now before it was like straight flat, whatever, but now it's a little bit rounded, but I think that actually looks better than before. Genuinely, it being, like, one tile smaller, the house itself isn't that much smaller, but, like, it being a little bit smaller makes such a big difference. It really needed that. <laughs> Maybe we could put the bathroom back here behind the stairs now. That could work. And then we can get rid of this wall. I think that makes way more sense. <laughs> I think it's a money thing, but I will never understand the use of wall lights instead of ceiling lights. Like, the ceiling ones are more expensive, but they look so much better, and the house is so much brighter. Like, they use these cheapy bad lights that are 10 simoleons less than this snowball pendant lamp, and these are so ugly. This light is so ugly. <laughs> what if we did something fancy with the stairs? <gasps> Hang on, you guys. We may have just, like, found something. <laughs> Isn't that kind of fun? And then we can move the master bedroom to be over here. This could even become a bathroom if we wanted it to be. And then that could be, like, an office space. It, the thing is, the stairs being like this, while I like the look of it better, I don't know if it like actually works for the shape of the house. The stairs, how they were, though I disliked them, they kind of separated the house well. Like this could be a, an office space and then you kind of have like the master bedroom over here. So I, I will admit that while I dis- why was this on an angle too? Why? 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 Give me one good reason why. <laughs> Maybe we could try and fit a kid's bedroom in here. 
I bet we could do it. This bedroom is a little bit bigger, so I think I'll use this as the master for now. We're switching the sides, you guys. I don't know if we can afford enough lights is the problem. Like, I, don't, I don't know if we have enough um, items to have lights in this house. Well, I can get rid of this lamp for one ceiling light. I'll get rid of this lamp for another ceiling light in the hallway. Toilet paper might have to die in exchange for a ceiling light, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> we don't need toilet paper at a time like this. We only have 54 simoleons. It's because I used expensive doors. <laughs> They're 110. We might not be able to pull that off, to be honest. Let's just go for the cheaper ones. Well, the cheaper ones are only, they're 90, but like that, that extra like 40 simoleons could be life or death. You know what? No, no. I want the prettier doors. <laughs> I insist. So far, so good, aside from the fact that we don't have um, any money. <laughs> Oopsies. We can try and fix the windows now a little bit. What if we put it on a lower foundation? That gives us 152 more simoleons. That's not bad. Is this an expensive staircase? <gasps> oh, 24 extra. <laughs> It really is every little bit that counts, huh? All right, I don't want this light here. You know what, folks? I'm gonna put down a random plant to symbolize that light I deleted, but I think it's time for us to lower the walls. I, I think we're going we're going short wall height already. I know that like the original house had medium tall walls and blah, 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 but we're gonna save so much money and it's gonna look so much better <laughs> if the walls are shorter. That's always step one in the houses that I built. I mean, look at that already. Doesn't that look so much like less dumb? It really is the little things. <laughs> and then the stairs are cheaper too and it looks more open in here. Yeah, that's a problem solved right there. Okay. <laughs> I like that this house has a dining room. I'm gonna be honest. I think it's kind of cute. We can't really afford a rug. I like how they've done that thing where they put carpet down underneath the, the table so that it looks like a rug. <laughs> we can do that. We can get a little carpet underneath the rug. We can get a carpet underneath the table like that. It is kind of sad in here, isn't it? <laughs> it's just so empty everywhere, you know? We can keep the original stone flooring they had in the bathroom. That's kind of pretty. Or we could do it like this. That's kind of cute. See, maybe I'll just put one window in here. <laughs> you know what, now that I think about it, maybe one window is for the best. And then we have an extra object. Okay, <laughs> no, that worked out really well. Maybe I'll use that extra object to get an extra couch. Or instead of two couches, we could put a rug. <laughs> we could use a rug. But wait, would it be smarter to put like a fake rug and then save the money? I might not be happy about it, but it probably is the smartest option. That looks dumb, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> oh no. Maybe the bathroom could get smaller. That's fine. That's not bad. <sighs> This is an absolute tragedy. <laughs> I don't know how to fix this house. I put the desk downstairs. We have to get enough money somehow saved up to buy a computer. Cause there's no electronics in this build. I think we need that. I think that a, a computer is a very important feature. You know what, my friends, I think we're making the house smaller again. I'm just worried cause this kitchen is so big. Like I'm worried about trying to fill it. Oh, what if we swapped? Oh my goodness, this might be the move. Hang on. We're swapping the kitchen and the dining room space. I think the table works over there too. Wow, open living. <laughs> also, I hate these stairs like this. I hate these stairs. It's just so small. The furniture does not suit this place at all in like any way. Team, we're making the house smaller again. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm trying my best here to like make this make sense. It's just the house is so big and we don't have any furniture left that we can put in it. That ruins my rug. <laughs> We're doomed. I just sacrificed the fire alarm for another counter. That's where I'm at right now. I don't even feel bad. I think having the flooring in there helps. It like defines the space, you know? Oh, who am I? You know what? I'm getting rid of the chimney too because <laughs> I'm giving up on it. The chimney it's dead to me. We cannot do anything more for this chimney. I have given it the best shot that I can, but I need the money from it. The chimney is a rug now. <laughs> I think it's kind of good though. I think it kind of works. Also, the windows are all just moving around everywhere. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. And I didn't want the dining room to be so far away from the kitchen, but it, it's gonna be <laughs> because I don't know where else to put anything. Wait, I can afford the, oh my God, I can afford the thingy. Wait, hang on. By thingy, I mean the computer. <laughs> I think we need a computer really badly. So I am very much into this concept. At least we have some level of electronics in this house because otherwise this would be really sad. 57 simoleons. I need to furnish a whole other bedroom <laughs> with, um, with 57 simoleons, okay. The bed I need is 240 simoleons. I don't have enough money for it. 
<laughs> oh no. <laughs> I wanna I wanna make it two bedrooms so badly. Alright, this has to be smaller. We know the we know the rules. When in doubt, make it smaller, you guys. <laughs> it's just how it has to be. I put a cheaper railing too. I don't even know if we can afford to put anything else in here, but like I'd like to figure out how to get at least one tree. <laughs> if I could make it so that we have just one tree, I would be so happy. I, I think all of this is so necessary. <laughs> Maybe the window in the bathroom could go. Yeah, that might be our best bet. Can I fit a cats and dogs tree? I can. See, you guys, I'm serious. I think the, like, it is just the one tree. We needed one tree. <laughs> there was no landscaping on this lot. I think that helps. Okay, a couple more things I wanna do. For example, this looks dumb. We're gonna do it in two roof pieces because what I've just done, you see, is I'm gonna put it on two halves. The first half goes just up to the edge. I held shift so that there has no overhang on the right side there. And then this second piece we're gonna put in isn't gonna have overhang on the bottom. So that it kind of makes it so that these pieces end in the same place. I think it looks pretty weird when it like overhangs to, I don't know, like right there. Cause like, what is this roof piece, you know? So I try and make it fit better. Speaking of what is this, um, I hate this. <laughs> the way the windows look, like I want that to be right there so badly. Does it look super dumb if I scoot this over a little bit? What if I had no ceiling light? It can be kind of dark in here, right? <laughs> we can get rid of the ceiling light in exchange for something else. Maybe another couch. Can we can we get a second couch? 180, we're four simoleons off. Are you serious? No, you know what? I'm gonna give myself that because the items depreciate in value. So the house is gonna be cheaper than EA's house anyway. <laughs> It's not fair. I deserve my extra couch for my four simoleons, okay? Oh, those are the same- those are the same color. Just to- by the way, they're the same color. The game just, um, has dumb lighting. And so they don't look the same color, but they are, I swear. Let's use the power of some terrain paint to get some, like, fake flowers on this lot. <laughs> we can't have actual flowers, but we can put some in the floor, if you- if you know what I mean. It's totally fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. And then I want to get a little, um, pathway up to the front porch there. It can sort of end at the bottom here. Trash can can go right here, maybe? And let's see, you got everything you need. We have a master bedroom. We've got a kid's bedroom. Nicely furnished, <laughs> as you can see. Computer, living room, kitchen, dining. Yeah, I mean, it works. It has everything you could possibly need. I, I would like it to look different. <laughs> I sort of want the, the living space to be scooted over a little bit. I just, I'm doing this because of how the windows look because I want the windows to look decent from the outside. So I'm like, when in reality, that would look okay. It just, I think it looks dumb how they're not on top of each other, but you know what? A lot of times in real life, the windows on the sides of the houses are ugly too, so it's probably okay. <laughs> but now this is too dark over here. Wait, no! <laughs> Can I just center it in the room? You know what? We don't have the money to have lighting sent. I mean, in in an ideal world, you have a light right here and a light above the table, but we're not in an ideal world. We're in a starter home <laughs> with limited items. And it looks the same. Like, it's a very similar looking house. You can see that I didn't, like, change it completely. It's still the same vibe. It just, I think, um, is less empty and dark and sad. It's a little bit more homey inside. I'm proud of this one. I think we did it. Not bad, team. Not bad at all. And it's literally right on the beach. Like, what a steal. A, a full-on beach house for $17,000. Can you imagine in real life <laughs> if you could buy a full-on beach house fully furnished for $17,000? That is not how the coast works. I think next time I want to try and take on a bigger house, one like this, because I love this house and I think we can make this really cool. It's hard to do starter homes. Also, why did they use these lights? Of all the lights, you picked those? Oh my god. Anyway, it's it's hard to do starter homes, so they, only, they have so few objects, but this lot has so much landscaping on it. Like, we could really do something kind of magical in this house, I think, with, with just their objects. So I think we might take on this one next. If you try this, let me know. I love doing this sort of challenge. It's it's really fun to try this like weird, oh, I wanna fix it, but I can only do so much. Like I have to like, you know, decide, is it more important to have a plant or a lamp? Ah, you know? <laughs> I love that. It's so fun. And the fact we had exactly zero simoleons at the end, or I guess negative four simoleons at the end, is, um, it's pretty impressive. I do feel bad for giving myself the four simoleons, but it was just four. It wasn't like it was 400, you know? Four, four, that's fine. Your sims can make that in tips just by, like, playing the guitar, you know? And they could suck and still get that. <laughs> okay, on that note, though, I'm gonna go. So please make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those funny YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, everybody. So it appears I am currently indebted for simoleons to the universe. But don't worry, guys. I'll, um, I'll pay it back. I got you. Don't worry. It's fine. <laughs>